Mr. Lagrude has ordered me to continue the teaching of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Srila Rupa Goswami. He has just explained Do that by it? engagement in pure sudden bhakti, one develops bhav, which is the uh, mood that is eternally already situated in the soul and whose potentiality is called sudden, engaging one's senses, mind, words, engaging in the nine processes of devotional service for the express purpose of developing that bhav. When su sudden bhakti is performed, actually, then one develops bhav, the uh, ecstasies, the um, sprout of prem, and the symptoms have been described by Srila Gurudev and the other speakers, that one becomes free from all disturbance, one becomes forgiving, one develops a taste for hearing the glories of the Lord, he develops a taste for chanting the holy name of the Lord, he develops a great desire to live in the places of the Lord's pastimes. Then, gradually, when one performs his, uh, continues his devotional service in Bhava Bhakti, which has three stages, um, antar dasya bhav, internal, uh, half internal, half external, and external stages, that is, sometimes thinking of his own swarup, his internally conceived form uh, in his specific relationship with Krishna and our line as a maidservant of Srimati Radhika, sometimes absorbed in that and completely forgetful of the external identity, sometimes half internal, half external, as we see in the life of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami and our other Goswamis, where there's weeping in separation, but still uh, not conscious of the external and feeling separation from the internal and sometimes external, uh, Bahir uh, Dasa, where one engages in devotional service of hearing, chanting and remembering, writing, and at the same time is in feeling tense, intense separation while doing his bhajan. Doing that, one gradually comes to the platform of Prema Bhakti, Prema Bhakti is a more intensified stage of bhav, where one has a very strong sense of mindness or a sense of possessiveness that Krishna is my master, Krishna is my friend, Krishna is my son, Krishna is my beloved. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is now uh, describing the various developments from Prem, within the stage of Prem, pure love of God, where no matter what happens, even if there's a cause for breaking, there's no break, but rather that love increases unlimitedly, simultaneously, separation and meeting going on unlimitedly. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is explaining that there's a stage of general Prem, and then comes Sneha, which is a more intensified stage of Prem, where the heart is melting at every moment, and one cannot stop uh, gazing at the Lord even for a second. Then one develops um, Man, or uh, transcendental, loving, jealous anger, uh, Pranaya, uh, where one can't even distinguish. There's such a sense of oneness, but that the beloved and the lover can't distinguish who is who. Like Radharani says, who is the beloved and who am I? Sometimes um, Krishna may take Radharani's veil to wipe off his own perspiration, thinking it's his own uh, garment. So then comes uh, Rag, Anurag, where at every moment there's a brand new experience, thinking that I've never seen Krishna before. Who is that person? Is it a beautiful sapphire, shining sapphire, or a brilliant cloud? 
thinking I've never seen this person before because Krishna's beauty is always ever fresh and the love in the heart of the gopis is always ever fresh, seeing Krishna in newer and newer ways. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explains that there are, within that um, permanent ecstasy, the particular kind of relationship that the devotee has, whether it's in Shantaras or neutrality, that is just seeing that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but not having intimate enough feelings with Him that uh, I'm rendering service, but just the general knowledge that God is great. And then um, Dasyaras, there are two, he explains to Srila Rupa Goswami that in each successive stage in the development of frame within the five rasas, there's an increase in the qualities. For example, in Shantaras, there is complete detachment from material enjoyment, the desire for material enjoyment, and at the same time, there's an attachment to the absolute truth. Then, in the Dasyaras, there's an increase of another quality, that is the sense of service. He is my master, I am his servant, and I want to serve him. Then, in the stage of Vatsalyaras, or parental love, a sense of maintenance comes. There's an increase in the detachment, an increase in the attachment, an increase in the sense of service, in the service mood, and now a sense of maintenance. If I don't take care of Krishna, if I don't feed him and provide for him, well then he'll die. He needs me. Then, Sakyaras. Sakyaras is uh, the sense of equality. Actually, I'm sorry, but Salyaras comes higher than Sakyaras. And in Sakyaras, there's a sense of equality. Even when the um, devotee in Sakyaras, that is the friend, the coward boyfriend of Krishna, sees Krishna's great opulence, as you heard a few days ago on the celebration of uh, Govardhan, when Krishna was lifting Govardhan Hill, which was such a massive mountain, so much bigger and taller than now, the coward boys seeing this great opulence of Krishna, they're thinking, well, we're equal to Krishna, and Krishna's having a hard time. He's probably getting tired. I think he needs our help. So we should help him by holding up our coward stick. Or there's a sense of equality in challenging Krishna to various games of wrestling or other games. Sridham and Krishna may uh, have a wrestling match, and Sridham will defeat Krishna, and Krishna will be lying down, and Sridham is sitting on Krishna, and then Sridham says, look, I defeated you. Krishna says, no, I defeated you, because my nose is up and your nose is down. So there's a sense of equality. And then Vansalya, there's one more um, quality, and that is the quality of maintenance. And then um, within the next higher relationship, that is conjugal love, there's uh, another quality of satisfying Krishna with all of one's senses. Krishna can directly enjoy the senses of his beloved. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also explains that within each of the rasas, there are uh, different varieties of taste. Just as one may combine uh, yogurt and ghee and sugar and uh, milk to uh, make some very beautiful taste together. So there are certain elements within each ras, and it's varied within the particular rasas, like Anubhav, Vibhav, Satvika, Vyavachari, and uh, the Anubhavs are direct um, outward manifestations of, our, of the devotee's inner mood. So there are 13 kinds of Anubhavs, for example, like rolling on the ground, hiccuping, dancing, <coughs> um, roaring, laughing, and these are external manifestations of the uh, inner mood, uh, which create hair standing on end, coloring of the complexion, tears falling, stunned. Then there's Vyavachari bhavs of spiritual envy, death-like separation, and uh, bhavs, there's two kinds of bhavs, there's the um, 
the, uh, what do you call it, the um, stimulus, the stimulus of love, the unipan, according to the particular relationship. For example, Krishna's flute playing is the unipan in conjugal love. Krishna's um, crawling may be the udipan in Vatsalya Bhav. And these all mix together to make a rush, a taste. There are five kinds of primary uh, rushes, as we discussed. That is the stai bhav, the foundational or permanent ecstasy, which never changes. Although Mother Yasoda knows that Krishna's most beloved is Srimati Radhika, he loves her the best. She never has a desire to be a gopi in conjugal love. She's fully satisfied uh, in her relationship as mother and always tries to facilitate Krishna, for example, by inviting Radharani to cook. So there are five kinds of permanent mellows which fully satisfy the devotee. And within that, there are all these various kinds of tastes as above mentioned. Then there are seven kinds of... Um, Secondary rasas, those are the primary rasas. Shantaras, Dasyaras, uh, Satyaras, Vatsalyaras, and Madhuryaras. Then there are seven kinds of secondary rasas. For example, fear, or chivalry, or um, disaster, Vivatsa, disaster, or wonder, Adbhuta, Hasya, laughing, just as Karun, when there's great lamentation, compassion. So these secondary rasas are not permanent. They come and go within the permanent relationship. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also explains that there's two kinds of relationships with Krishna in the status of prem. One is uh, Kaivalya prem, that is pure, unadulterated prem that's not mixed with any conception that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And there's also Aishwarya Mitra Prem, or Ragatmika Bhakti, mixed with Aishwarya, where the devotees sometimes have a conception that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives to Srila Rupa Goswami some examples. One example of unmixed is that when Krishna is lifting Govardhan Hill, Mother Yasoda becomes very worried that the mountain might fall on her son, and she prays to Lord Narayan to protect her son. She becomes in so much anxiety. An example of Aishwarya, uh, Ragatmika Bhakti, or Prema Bhakti, mixed with a sense of opulence of the Lord, is that uh, Arjuna is always a friend of the Lord. As we hear from Srila Gurudev in various lectures around the world, Sometimes Arjuna and Krishna would be laying on the same couch and Krishna's feet are at Arjuna's head and Arjuna's feet are at Krishna's head and Arjuna's feet would be over Krishna's chest and Krishna's feet would be over Arjuna's chest and the, um, the queens of Krishna would be fanning and the wives of Arjuna would be fanning at one end and the other end and from every pore of Arjuna's body the um, holy name of Krishna would be coming out. And Krishna would even serve Arjuna, and by serving his horses even. But sometimes, when Arjuna sees Krishna's universal form, then he immediately starts praying, O oh, Yadav, O oh, Krishna, please forgive me. Sometimes I would eat from the same plate or sit on the same bed, but now I understand that you're the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So please forgive me that I've acted in this way. But on the other hand, when Mother Yasoda would see Krishna's universal form, when his coward boyfriends would complain that Krishna ate earth, and Mother Yasoda would say, so I hear you've eaten earth. Krishna says, no, my friends lied. Well, even Balaram said that you've eaten earth. Well, he ganged up on me against me and conspired with them and said also that I ate earth, but he also lied. Okay, let's see. So she looked inside of his mouth and she saw all the universes, all the material elements, the Brahmas, the Shivas, all the planets, everything, all the modes of nature. And she immediately thought that maybe some ghost was there to attack her son. So she uh, called for the Brahmanas and did some purifying 
uh, sacrifices to protect her son from evil influences. The residents of Vrindavan, where there's pure ragatmika bhav, that means ragatmika means rag, means uh, intense, unlimited attachment in the atma, with a simultaneous, um, ever-increasing, unlimited thirst for the association of Krishna and to engage in the service of Krishna. So that's pure in Goloka Vrindavan, and then there's some mixture of opulence in Mathura and Dwarka and Vaikuntha. I don't want to take too much time, but I want to give a very beautiful example that Srila Gurudev gave in relation to salt and sugar, which is explained very elaborately by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Srila Rupa Goswami. Suppose we have one ounce of salt and no sugar, and you eat that. That's going to be very salty. And we're going to immediately try and get rid of that taste. Now suppose you have two ounces of salt and two ounces of sugar. There's more salt, but because it's mixed with an e equal amount of sugar, you can't taste the salt so much. Now suppose you have a gallon of salt and five gallons of sugar. There's more salt, but because there's so much sugar, you can taste maybe a little bit of salt. Now suppose you have a ton of salt and a million tons of sugar. You're not going to taste the salt at all. So in Vaikuntha, it's pure opulence. And there the relationship is uh, tilted by that sense of God is so great and I am so so fallen, so small. There's a great wall there. And then in um, Dwarka, there's more opulence, but more sweetness, so there's less taste of opulence. In Mathura, it's still more. And in uh, Vrindavan, so much more opulence. Krishna is dancing with billions of gopis and expanding himself to dance with all those gopis is not a small opulence. But no one could taste it. Rather, Radharani thought, Oh, Krishna says that he loves me the best, but I see he's with her and her and her and me simultaneously. But there's no sense of opulence. Rather, I'm leaving. He's a cheater. <laughs> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is explaining all these wonderful things to show the very uh, greatness of the gopis. He's also explaining that there's less and less of a wall, just as there's less of a wall in Vaikuntha, to Dwarka, to Mathura, to Vrindavan. So there's less and less of a wall with the uh, Shantaras, to Dasyaras, to Satyaras, to Vatsalyaras, and finally in Madhuryaras, there's no wall because the gopis can fully dedicate all their senses in Krishna's service. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explains, because he's in the mood of Radharani anyway, very beautifully the prayers of the gopis and gopi geet and vena geet. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is establishing the preeminence of the gopis' love and especially Srimati Radhika. Very good explanation. Now we should know there is very, very much difference between Mayabadi and Brahmavadi. Huh? Mayabadis are uh, offenders. They don't, they don't accept form of Supreme Lord, no quality, nothing. And even if they admit Krishna, then covered with Maya, Brahma. From his covered is with Maya, then he is Krishna. So they are culprit like Aparadhi. But Brahmavadi likes four Kumars, four Kumars Sanat Sanandan, Sanatan, Sanat Kumar. They are Brahmavadi. Or they are they are uh, under the shant bhakta. <coughs> Why though they don't admit any body of Krishna that prakrit body, but they admit the sattva of Krishna. Hmm? 
and they don't want any, uh, they have no any worldly desire. So by this, oh, they are called Shant Bhakta. So, much more different. Also know that uh, though Rukmini, Shaktabhama and all are also Madhur Ras, in Madhur Ras. Gopis are also in Madhur Ras. Lakshmi is also Madhur Ras. Sita is also in Madhur Ras. But they, their love and affection is mixed with happiness. Once uh, Krishna was sitting in the palanka of Rukmini Devi. And Rukmini Devi, Santa, Bharta, oh, she was fanning, not Shamar. Fanning, Shamar also fanning. <laughs> Krishna become very gambhir and told O oh, Rukmini, you are very beautiful, having all the qualities, golden color, and I am rejected from kingdom, blessed, and only the poor persons uh, those who are is his concern there. So I want that you should tell to whom you love and I will take you to that person and you should be happy. I want that you should be happy. And hearing this, at once Shamar came from her hand and she and fell on the earth like banana in Then Krishna became worried and he took some cotton. Oh, she is alive. Then he told in her eyes, yes. Oh, my most beloved Rukmini, Oh, I was doing only some hasi majas, joking. But you thought it is real, or oh, it was not real. You remember, I have told you that I used to joke with gopis. And gopis, how much? Hmm? High pain. Oh, Radhika used to tell that, oh, this black person cannot, should not come in my kunj. He should be out. And he deputed Rukmanjari, Ratimanjari on the gate. If that black will come, oh, get out, <laughs> not come. <laughs> so, gopis love it. So. I request, then I began to request the Rukmanjari, Ratimanjari. Oh, please let me go. Tell that Krishna is Oh, you should go. You are great cheater and fool. You cannot come. Today Rajka has promised that I will not take black cloth. Oh. And I will cover my head with black. <laughs> and also, uh, and thus, she is very angry. You see that Radhika, even thus, that King Karish Bhausa Khaluka Dubani Nityam Parasya Purusatya Sikhanda Mauri Jatya Hakada Rasmide Vishubhanu Jaya Tatakeli Kunj Bhavananga Namarjani Where Radhika is ordering, all oh, this death should not come into here 
and then oh, Krishna is um, keeping his head crying on the lotus feet of Rupa and Rati Manjari. Hmm? Oh, I want to be a, what? A stick of broom to be Kunja. Prabodhananda Sastrati. So high, high class of gopis love. So in all rushes, in Satkaras Arjun, you can see, and Subal Sidam. So Dalsidam, what doing? Wrestling and falling down Krishna. In this way. Vasalyadas, just what he told about that. So, in Braj, appearance is too much high, but covered with sweetness. sweetness. In the, this way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tended, taught Srila Rupa Goswami, and then he wanted to go Varanasi, and then he embraced Rupa Goswami and told all these things, what I have told you, you should realize all. And then hearing this, that Mahaprabhu is getting going to Varanasi and he has ordered me to go to Vrindavan and he became faint. Then anyhow, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Kasi and someone anyhow uh, sent and anyhow weeping they began to go to Vrindavan. And then he came. So, if you want to be Raga, Rupanuga, then by mind and by outwardly, we will have to practice like a Srila Rupa Goswami and Rupa Manjari. But very difficult. First, take out of your whole uh, sense gratification mode desire, or any word, desire to enjoy world. Totally it should be removed. When it will be clear, then Krishna will see that. Otherwise not. This Raganuga Bhakti is not oh, so easy. So, if you can Remove all the worldly desires, anna, vilasta, gyan, karma, adi covered, and everything, even a slight smell of desire will be there, other desire. Oh, this Madhur Ras cannot go. After that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Varanasi, and we have discussed. Now, today and tomorrow, we will discuss about, in brief, how we cannot do it. Oh, you know that Jagadananda Prabhu, his nature was like Sastabhama. Somewhat like Srimati Radhika. So, one day he was writing something. Huh? What writing? He is telling that he, he, he is always remembering very kind and pathetic Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his Charitra pastime. And when I remember, my eyes weeps, my pran, pran, life, my body and everything, I cannot keep. And then Kandite, Kandite, weeping and weeping, oh, I thought, I must write something. 
the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that is why weeping, I am weeping. What coming in my remembrance, forgetting who is first, who is second, who is last, who is most before. No serially. As he remembered and he began to write. Oh, people say me Pandit, Jagadananda Pandit. But what? No, no intelligence and Kavita or Vidvata. What? Vidvata. Not, nothing in me, not in my ghatta. In a, my not. Oh, yet I desire to write the very pathetic uh, pastimes of oh, my dear Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In the meantime, Sarup Damodar came. You know Sarup Damodar? Uh, his uh, Nitya Siddha Diya Parikar of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Krishnila Lalita. So you can imagine how high class of. Oh, Pandit, what you are writing? And hmm? weeping also? Why? What are you writing? Oh. Ami body. Lekhi jaha, tai, tai jaha te piriti. I am writing oh, to whom I love so much. Without him, I cannot survive. So about him I am writing. <laughs> oh, I want to write it and to keep with me what? Hiding away. In hiding away. Not to show anyone. Bolen Tobelika Prabura Charitra Jaha Pori Jogate Boro Hai Harita. Oh, very good, very good. Thank you. You should write. Hmm? I think that if anyone in this world will oh, read, oh, he will be comfort, uh, benefited by it. Uh, so much. Then, oh. I told, I don't know others. I'm keeping what I, uh, I'm writing what I have. I feel and how I will be happy. For my happiness, I'm writing, not for any other. Then he is writing that. Sarup Ramo Dari, he knew that he is very bathul. Bathul means? Talk at him. Oh, he will not hear me. He does not hear of Ch Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he does man. How he can hear me? So he left me and went. Oh. Then I became alone and again remembered and weeping and weeping. I began to write. Mon kande pran kande, kande duti akhi. My heart weeping, my mind weeping, and oh, I cannot say. Jakhon jaha mone pade, tokhon taha likhi. Very good poetry, very good. As if it is coming naturally, naturally like the flow of a river. Not to search any word here, there, and anything. As a flow it is coming. Oh, one day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sachi Nandan, he came to me and told, 
you are Parteshwari of Dwarka, you are queen, high class of queen of Dwarka. And very high class you have, intelligent, very intelligent you are. But you know that I am a beggar. Why you want me? And why how why you want to serve me so deeply? Oh, there are so many pandit sannyasis here and there. Better you should go and serve them. Not to me. I am not qualified. I am Akinchan is Kinchan. Oh. So why? Radha Pada Dasi Ami Mui Boli Mui boli, rekhe dao kumar chala. Then I told him, oh, I know you very well. Keep your what? Rekhe dao. Oh, you are always cheating me. Always cheating me. Mm. I am most obedient maid servant of Radhika. And you want to Dwarka? What is this? I will not go. I will not go. Anyhow, you will try. I know that you have, you are very great thief. You have stolen away the beauty of Radhika. And now you will take Srimati Radhika alone and alone you will serve. I know this. And rekhe dao. Oh, I know you are not sannyasi really. You are a cheater. And thus you are. Oh, you want to cheat me also. You want to send me to. Oh, oh, I remember something. What remember? I know that the wealth of bhajan is lot of feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his bani, his instruction. Oh, I left. I'm very unlucky. I left no deep. And I'm going to Vrindavan. How unlucky. Why did man once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, Jagadananda Prabhu brought a very big pot of oil composed by Ayurvedic, very cool. And he wanted that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sometimes his head becomes warm. So he used to put on his head. And he told Govinda, I'm keeping here, and you should sometimes, time to time, you should give it to me. Put it to his head. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard, then he became very angry and told that this oil should be given to Jagannath temple for lamp. When he heard that Mahaprabhu had told so, and then he took that vessel, and in front of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Satinandan Gaudari, he and went inside his room and locked. Three days, nothing eating, nothing. And then Mahaprabhu one day came, Oh Jagai, oh Jagai, I'm very hungry. 
for three days I have not taken anything. I'm going to take bath in ocean and very soon I'm returning. You should prepare and I'm just coming. And telling so he went to and took bath and after some time he returned back. Jagadananda Ghosh saw, oh, what to do now? I must cook. And he, he prepared so many delicious preparations, so many. And then when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, then Mahaprabhu told, I will take prasadam with only you. If you will not take, I will not. Then he promised that, oh, I have to do something. Oh. And Govinda told, oh, he has something to do. You should take and his, your remnant he will take. Then Mahaprabhu, he, he gave him a very big kalapata. Banana Kalyanaki. Bhakti Sangutiya means very big. Eh? And he put all these hundreds of varieties of sabji and other things. Hmm? Chawal, dal, kadi, dal, or mocha dhanta, rabadi, and so many things. And he put, and then chutney, chutney also. And then Mahaprabhu began to take. Mahaprabhu oh, tasting very sweet and he used to take one thing and again he used to. In this way, out of love, Mahaprabhu told that, I am not Jagannath that you are giving me so much. I cannot take like this. Oh, you are not Jagannath, you, you are surely Jagannath. And there he take months and months of rice and so many malpua, khee. And why not here? Anyhow, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took prasadam and then he returned back. Oh, so now Jagadananda. Still man was there. He went to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, he told to Sarup Damodar to tell Mahaprabhu so Sarup Damodar is telling that Jagdanand wants to tell something to you. He wants to go to Vrindavan for some day. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has done month, that is why he is telling. I cannot allow him. But Jagdanand himself came and fell on the fact of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and told, really I want to. I have never seen Vrindavan. I will go with Sanatana Goswami and after some time I will return. So, he went, uh, Sanatana Goswami was in Vrindavan. He told that I will be with him and after some time he returned. Then, in the evening time, he no, he when he nikle khatse oh, start to go to Vrindavan. And there he is thinking this. Oh, I'm very mad. In man I told my dear Sachinandan that I will go to Vrindavan. But how I will be alive without him? Oh, how? But I have promised what to do. So thinking this on a tree, he, he slept. And then he remember in his sleeping how Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is kind. He was remembering on the <coughs> shadow, shade of that tree in dream. One day, when they were very astudent, they used to go to Sanskrit school together. And there they began to quarrel and then hatha hati, like this. 
And then, oh, he did man. And he went to, on the <coughs> bank of Ganges. Ganges. <coughs> Whole life, nothing taking, weeping and weeping. Oh, at about night three, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with Gadadhar Pandit, a student boy. They came to Jagad, Jagadananda. Oh, Jagadananda, oh, give up man. Very bad thing. Huh? You know, here you are sleep, here night weeping, and I was weeping whole night for you. And in the meantime, Gadadhar Pandit came. <coughs> then I told, we should go and to Jagadanam. So we have come. Oh, give up now. Very bad thing. You should come. Mother, my mother is waiting for you. And there we will take prasadam both. Then, he is telling that I cannot uh, ne neglect the order of Sri Sachinandan I at once I began to go there. There we went and Sachi Maya gave something and both together with Gadadhar we took some prasadam and I slept for one hour, two hours. And when morning came, then Sachi Maya brought dub that means milk, milk, milk and rice. rice. Very tasteful. <coughs> and we both took it. And then again we went to school. And he was weeping and writing. So he is telling that I am writing for me when what comes in my mind. Ehene Gaura Chanda na bhajila paramat bhajile parama shukha hai dayar thakur hai tehon taha ki ki bhuli bhoke ho eto daya dase bitar hai anyone who has realized the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he cannot give up Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from his heart he is so kind so kind. Hmm? He came to bank of Ganges in the night and took me. Hmm? So who is like that? Krishna is a bit very cruel, not like him. Because Radharani was mercy has come in him. So he is so merciful. Chaitanya Amar Prabhu Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is my Prabhu. He is my life and soul. Oh, I cannot live without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Shame or Pranarishwa. He is my Pran, life of life. Jai Chaitanya Bole Take, Uthe Kol Dei Take, Shame or Pranarishwa. Jai Chaitanya Mole Dake, those who call, Hey Chaitanya, Hey Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Hey Sachinandan Gaurhari. Oh, I will embrace him. And he is my most friend of my, my pran, my life. Ha Chaitanya Pranadhan, Nabali La Jaijan. Muktar na dekhi nai. And those who are not calling, ha jaitanya, ha jaitanya, pramthan, I don't want to see their face. Hmm? I want to give some fire burning in their mouth. Chaitanya bhule le jiva, jadiva se devi teva, kuprabhav tar darshane. Those who are not like this, in morning, I don't want to see their face. Even that maybe demigods are anyone. Hmm. 
Chaitanya Acharya Anna, Sannyasi Re Karam Man Manu. And those who live in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has some honor for other sannyasis. Oh, Tare Jasti Kori Bhopra. I will take a stick and <laughs> like he has told that, <laughs> that oh, he, he was ready to also beat Sanatan Goswami because he has a red cloth of any other sannyasi. And then he was cooking rice and it was not, it was so hot and took and like this, <laughs> Sanatan Goswami told, oh, that is I wanted to see. How much you have loved for Chaitanya. I have never seen like this. And hearing this, he became very, very ashamed. And he came to touch the lot of feet of Sanatan Goswami. So, I am remembering all these things. एक दिन प्रभु मोर खेलिते खेलिते चलिला अलका तीरे निविड बने थे वन डे चैतन्य महाप्रभु सचिन अंजन बोल रहे थे वी आर प्लेइंग विथ गदाधर एंड सचिन अंजन गौरवरि टुक मी एंड गदाधर बोथ एंड वेंट अ वेरी डीप फॉरेस्ट दरवाज नन ओनली सम trees were there. On the one tree branch, a parrot was there and Sari was there. Bakul gache. Bakul means very fragrant. Bakul in India. Also, I have seen in Hawaii and other places. Very big tree and flowers. Shukpakhi dhare range. There was a parrot. And anyhow, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu caught it. And then he told, Oh, you should speak. Chat. Chant. Radha Krishna, Radha, Radhe, Radhe, Krishna, Krishna. Well, but Sukhpakshi not doing so. He was telling only, Gaur Hari, Gaur Hari. Prabhu Take Dure Phelen, Kup Chhan. Then Mahaprabhu became very angry and love Gaur Hari. If you are not chanting Radha Krishna. And God, what you are telling. Kabushu, even that parrot, Gaur, Gaur, he began to chant louder and very sweetly. Shukara Kirtan, Hoya Premer Udai. And when he began to chant in very sweet way, Gaur Hari, Gaur Hari, then O Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was overwhelmed and he became what? Well, well, and he told, Oh, what you want to do, you should chant. Nothing to do. So, Radha Krishna Bola Jeheta, Sunuk Sarvajan, Shuk Bole Bindaban Navadi Pahida. Oh, he telling the Oh, Shuk, Parrot. Why you are not telling, Hare, singing Hare Krishna, Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna? Oh, he told. Now Vrindavan has come to Navadip. Navadip. All the buns and all everything is there, Govardhan, Manasi, Ganga and everything is there. Ami Sukh, Eibane Gaur Namkai. Radha Krishna is Gaur Hailo. Oh, Radha Krishna is Ebar. Gaur Rupetya. He has become Radha Krishna both together. They have become Sachin and Dan Haurvari. So in this forest, now the I 
बल्ली सिंह गौरहरी गौरहरी तुम्हें मोर कृष्णा सो के चैली यू आर माई कृष्णा एंड राधा एक गदाई गदाई मैंने गदाधर इज राधा बोथ आर ही गदाई गौरांग बोले गदाई गौरांग मोर प्राणी ईश्वर सो गदाई एंड गौरांग बोथ आर माई लाइफ आन किचु नाई से मुखे अतपर प्रभु बोले आमी राधा कृष्ण उपासक वाली गौरहरी गौरहरी ही वाज सिंगिंग महाप्रभु इज टेलिंग दैट ओ पैरोट आई एम उपासक ऑफ हां ऑफ राधा कृष्ण अन्य नाम सुनने अमर होय सो व्हेन आई हियर अदर नेम्स अदर देन राधा एंड कृष्ण आई बिकम सॉरी ए तो बोली गदाई ये रे हाथ धरिया माया पूरे फिर आसलो सुख चाहिए देन चैतन्य महाप्रभु टुक द हैंड्स ऑफ गदाधर एंड आई वाज विद देम वी रिटर्न बैक टू सचिन नंदन सचि हाउस मधुर चैतन्य लीला जागे इफ दिस स्वीट पास टाइम्स ऑफ सी सचिन नंदन गौर हरि कम्स टू एनी वन फॉर I am doing dandruff pranam for them. So much honor. Who can sing any? Goranga Duti Pal. Oh, don't get. 
This beautiful song by Shilanartham Das Thakur, he is expressing the glories of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And he is expressing how if someone becomes completely attached to the two lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gorangera Duti Pada, that means his two lotus feet, Jar Dana Sampada, if the person takes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as his only wealth in his life, Dana Sampada, then Sejane Bhakati Rasa Sar, then that person, he will understand what is bhakti, what is transcendental pure devotion? He will also understand what is bhakti rasa. And then he will also sta understand what is bhakti rasa sar, the essence of all bhakti rasa. And then he says, Gorangir madhur lila jar karane praveshila. If the transcendental sweet pastimes of Goranga Mahaprabhu enter into the ears of anyone, then hridoy nirmal velotar. Then that person's heart will become nirmal. It will become completely purified from all material contaminations. Jegorangir nam loy tar hoy premodoy. If anyone takes the name of Goranga Mahaprabhu and chants Gor Hari, Gor Hari, then tar hoy premodoy. The potency of chanting Goranga Mahaprabhu's holy name will be that Prem will arise in that person's heart. And then Narutam Das Thakur says, Tare Mui Jai Balihari. Oh, I'm congratulating such person. Goranga Gunete Jure Nityalila Tare Spure. Uh, when someone hears about the transcendental qualities of Goranga, Nityalila Tare Spure. He can witness the eternal pastimes, Nitya Lila, of Radha and Krishna because Mahaprabhu is none other than Radha and Krishna combined. He will see Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna's eternal pastimes. Say Jana Bhakati Adhikari. That person, he will gain all qualifications to perform the highest, purest form of Bhakti. Gorangera Sangigane Nitya Siddha Korimani. If somebody hears about the eternal associates of Goranga, just like we are now hearing the very sweet narrations of the uh, relationship between Sri Jagadananda Pandit and Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu from the lotus mouth of our Gurudev, and how their relationship was so intimate, so affectionate. So if anyone hears about such eternal associates, and they understand that the associates of Goranga Mahaprabhu are actually Nitya Siddha Kodimani, their eternal associates of Radha and Krishna also in the divine Goloka Vrindavan, then Sejai Brajendra Sutapash. That person, he'll become a personal associate of the son of Maharaj Nanda in Vrindavan. Shri Gauramandala Bhumi Jeva Jane Chintamani. If anyone also understands that Gauramandala Bhumi the land of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Navadvip Dam, is non different than Chintamani Dam of Sri Braja Vrindavan, their identical abodes, than Tar Hoy Braja Bhumevas. That personality, he becomes an eternal resident of Braja Bhumi Vrindavan. Gor Prem Rasaranave Se Tarange Jeva Dube. If someone bathes and drowns himself, in the ocean of Gore Prem, the waves of Gore Prem, Srila Gurudev described, if someone takes bath in the Ganga, which is there in Sri Navadvip Dam, and immerses himself in the nectar of Goranga Mahaprabhu's Leelas, then what will happen? He will again 
uh, arise out of the water and he will find himself on the banks of the Jamuna at Sri Keshi Ghat or Vamshi Vat and say Radha Madhava Antaranga. That person, he will become an eternal Antaranga, intimate associate of Radha and Madhava. So finally, Sri Nartam Das Thakur says, Griheva Vanete Take Ha Goranga Bole Dake. It doesn't matter whether one is in Grihastha household life or whether one is in renounced order of life. If that person becomes so attached to Goranga Mahaprabhu as his life and soul and he's chanting Ha Goranga Ha Goranga, then Naratam Das Thakur says, Naratam Mage Tar Sangha. I want to have that person's association. Shri Naratam Das Thakur Ki Jai. Shri Gauranga Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. Shri La Guru Deva Ki Jai. That's also for Mahaprabhu, also. Bhakti Ra. Shri Jane. If I will do bhajan of Gaut Chandra and realize all his teaching, Oh, only that person can know what is bhakti, what is bhakti ras, and what is the ras, essence of that bhakti ras. What is the essence? We know bhakti. We know also bhakti ras. But what is the bhakti ras ras? What is that? What is the essence of that? Oh, Radhika's highest. Oh? Bhav, Mahabhav, Rood, Hathi, Rood, Modan, and Madan Bhav is the highest essence of the all the rest. Only two. Uh, oh, Bhai Re, Jagadananda Prabhu is telling, Oh, Bhai, Oh, my dear brother, Nishtha Kari Bhaja, Bhai Gauranga Chara. If you want to bhakti, then with nistha, one pointed beam, you should try to do bhajan of Gaut Chandra. Anna Devi Deva Kabhuna Kara Bhajan. Don't worship any Jaini God. Any, any, any of them. If Shankari Gopishwar, then you can. Oh, Gopeswar, Gopeswar, you should give of Prajiprem. And he is qualified to be. He can be. Not as a, his Kalas Shankar, oh, that no. Even, oh, others also. Gaurangera Dasvoli Sarva Devita. All the demigods are. Servant of Krishna. Krishna hai te gauru ke kabhu na jani bevaan. If you want to have bhakti, then don't differentiate between Krishna and Gaur Chandra. But I, I know that in some cases, even Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the same. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mercy is so higher than Krishna even. Because in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Radha mercy is also mixed so more than Krishna even. Nija Guru Deve Jana Gaurangera Patra Priya Patra Kripa Patra Always you should know your Guru Dev but Kripa Patra means mercy. Gauranga Patra Vijana, Gaur Deha Patra. You should know that he is associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gaur Bari Rasa Posta, E Matra Jana. And who are? No, no. Those who are enemy. Of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu know this, that, that Parvua, Brahman and others. Oh, they are Rasposta. Like Jatila. What wings? Oh, Krishna should not 
come in our house. And in every means and way, she is checking Krishna not to come. And Radhika also keeping her lock in key Radhika. Why? Uh, by that eagerness will come and after long time they will meet and the pain will be so high. So they are rush for stuff. Nourishing. Sakale Gaurangadars Ekathati Mano and all are free. If you want to be like that, Parninda Parchatcha Nakaro Kokhan. Don't criticize anyone that we discussed yesterday and also in our morning walk. If anyone is really bad, but yet you should not criticize. Or Sobhava Karmani. Sobhava Karmani means those who are karmi, whether they are doing good or bad, don't criticize or don't glorify. Otherwise, all besides gun will come in you. Huh? Yes, yes. kante bhaja gauranga So being one-pointed, you should change. Remember, by this, when you will be matured, gaur bhakti, or automatically it will be transferred to Krishna. Nothing you should will have to try automatically. When this Das Bhakti of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be matured automatically, it will transferred into oh, Krishna. That is Prajbhav, Prajbhav. Gaurja Sikhala Nam Chai Nam Gau. What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught to sing? Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram. In this way, this name, in the whole world. So we should chant. Otherwise, we will chant fast, Gaur Hari, Gaur Hari. But he has told us to chant, and so we are chanting. But even we should chant Gaur and Nityananda. They have no aparad vichar. And that is why Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, Gaurkishore Das Babaji Maharaj, in their last life, they left Vrindavan and they came to Navadvita. And for whole life they were there. Huh? <coughs> he told Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, Oh, when Krishna Chori uh, Kiya Makhan, Butter and Jasoda must chastise him. And broke on clay pot, so he bind him. And bind him in tortured water. Only break on clay pot. Only for a little makhan. <laughs> so I don't want to be in Vrindavan in Nandanavarsana. <laughs> and we see that all this in the boyhood Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He used to take everything, oh, wow. and breaking, all pots. breaking all pots and mm, throwing all rice and here and there, so many things. But what does Sachi Maya doing? Oh, no, never beat him, never bind him. Oh, always keeping in him. So we should go to Navati. <laughs> Gorbina Guru Nai, a thousand sari. In this world, only one Gaushamri Guru. He taught Rāramanam in hidden way. He taught the Rupa Goswami. He taught Sanatana Goswami, Tapan Mishra, and so many, so many. Sarvam Bhattacharya. Uh, Prakashananda uh, Saraswati and his 60,000 followers. 
वेंकट भक्त श्रीमल भक्त गोपाल भक्त और कैसा कैसा तुम देख रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी फिर रूप गोस्वामी एस्पेशली रूप गोस्वामी कुटी ना तो छाड़ो मन कर हो सर वट इज खू एंड वेट इज नॉट मीन्स वेट इज फेवरेबल फॉर भक्ति इज खू एंड वट इज अनफेवरेबल फॉर भक्ति इट इज खू फॉर चर्चा पर निंदा डूइंग अगेंस्ट भक्ति ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर खू आर ना All these things which are not favorable, they are now. Jabab, Gaur Bhaja Loka Raksha Ekatre Nishal. Oh, if you want to please anyone, your wife, your husband, your children, others, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, both at a time, or two sword cannot be one. So. गौर भजा लोक भजा एकत्र निष्फल दे कैन इट बी आइदर यू शुड हाय गोरा भज एंड हाय लोक भज वेदर यू शुड वर्शिप गौ चंद्र वनली अलोन इन योर माइंड योर माइंड इज वन गोपी लाल से उद्धव ही टोल्ड दैट यू शुड मेडिटेट कृष्ण And then Gopiza tells, "Udho manna bhayo dasabi. Udho thar thar jao thar jao. Oh Udho, our mind is only one. Your mind is so many, but our mind is only one, only one. And when Krishna went from here in Dwarka and Mathura, our mind also went with him." so who where is man or man is not with us then how we can <laughs> so hai gora bhaja ar nay lok bhaja bhai dusre ekatre nahi ek thai or both can it be either you to please lok lok means father mother wife children society friends and other or you to please जगाई बोले यदि एक निष्ठ ना हो नए नदी पारे जगदानंद प्रभु इज टेलिंग दैट इफ यू आर नॉट वन पॉइंटेड टू कृष्ण और गौ चंद्र देन वॉट विल बी इफ यू आर क्रॉसिंग ए रिवर एंड देर आर टू बोट कीपिंग वन बोट ऑन वन एंड then both will go here and there and what will be oh you will be in two pieces and prema ra bhai chitra jata prema ra pilot sama in nadi in river when flooded then whirling coming world flood coming and it is very dangerous if you go you will go to deep you cannot come out also we see in wind whirling wind uh, all water of this whole pond and river is take very dangerous <coughs> so premar vivart premhar also divart yes sarve premar vaichit prem is not straight like like serpent snake when they are when they are living not dead then they must be crooked and they walk run 
in crooked like these. Only when they will die, then we will be. So, Prem is also like crooked. And Radhika mind is more crooked. <laughs> Krishna Maya is too crooked. His Braj is crooked. Jamna River is crooked. <laughs> and Krishna, oh, he is looking, oh, oh, it is also crooked. <laughs> so everything is of Krishna. All the gopis of Krishna are all crooked. This is the nature of real frame. So don't try to have frame, otherwise you will also be like crooked. <laughs> be far away, far away. Mormon nache nirankar. And in that love, my mind, my heart, dancing like this. Therefore, Kala Gauranga Sane Kori Ami Dine Dine Kandule Jagaina Morna Always quarreling with Sachinandan, always quarreling, not stay. Once Jagadananda saw that Mahaprabhu sleeping on a bed, in a mat very hard. Then he made a quilt for easy sleeping, very soft. And he gave to Govinda. Oh, you too. Huh? Only dry banana leaves. Ah, banana leaves dry, but... <laughs> yes. Yes. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw, he saw, oh, oh. <laughs> he threw out this quilt. I don't want this. Oh, I'm okay. And then what became? He did one. In this way, always kala, always quarreling with frame kala. Like Srimati Radhika. Uh, Lalita is telling, Dhurte Prajanda Tanay Tanushurst Bhamyam Kalanki Nidadvaya Radhe Shurkita Mit Sikshayanti Deving Gunaisu Lalita. Oh, Lalita is telling, Oh Radhike, don't be straight with this crooked person. He is very dhurt sitter. And if he will be hmm, said like Rukmini, then he cannot, you cannot control him. So if you want to control, be like that. But Radhika is telling, oh, now I am crooked to her, to Krishna. I am man. But when I see Krishna, then man, what to do? <laughs> I cannot keep my mind <laughs> in this way. So, Kalah Gauranga Sane Kariyami Dine Dine Kandole Jagai Morana. And that is why Mahaprabhu has given name of oh, Jagai. Jaga. 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 Jaga only. Jaga. Jalam Braj Dekhivai. Rahishana Tanar Dhare. Kala Karun Sat. Anyhow, weeping and weeping, I went to Vrindavan. Because he has now ordered that go and return back. So I went. There also, my nature was to quarrel. So I also quarreled with Sanatan. <laughs> <laughs> One day, Sanatan Goswami, uh, on his head, and light, he took any sannyasi, red cloth, not guru avas. Orange, like red. Oh, yes. And then, returned back to his home, bhajan kuti, 
and there Jagadananda Prabhu was cooking. Oh, Sanatana Goswami. No, no, Jagadananda was cooking. Jagadananda was cooking rice. And it was so hot. And he saw that he has a turban like that. And at once he took that warm, hot pot and began to. In the meantime, Sanatana Goswami told him, Oh, oh. For why I took this? Only to see your love and affection for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So really, in this world, anyone not like you, and hearing this, oh, he began to feel uh, shame and touch the lot of feet of Sanatana Goswami. Sanatana Bhine Dekhi, Chhadi Take Ek Pake, Lajjaya Basun, Ek Jare. Then I became very shame. Gaur Mura Jata Jane, Amai Pathaya Vrindavan. Gaur knows, Gaur, that without him I cannot be. Whether I am doing Kalah Man and so many things, but without him I cannot be. But even he ordered me, oh, and then Maja Dekhe Thakhi Nija Dure. And it is in Vrindavan. Huh? He is in Nilachal, but he is from here. He is seeing me that always I am weeping when weeping for him. Always remembering Gaur Gaur. Hmm. So, he is uh, re relishing. Eh? Relishing. relishing this thing. Bhalo ho, bhalo tar ho su. Anyhow he should be happy. More hope, serious dukh. And even I will remain unhappy. Unhappy. Star sukh, habe more sukh. Like Srimati Radhika, he is telling. Nargani apanis dukh, sabe banchi tari sukh, more jade dele dukh, maha sukh. Say sukh, more dukh, more sukh. Ami Kandi Ratri Dine. Oh, for this separation, I am weeping and weeping like Radhika here. Our Gaura Pichet Bhavimane, our Gaura Hase. And here in Jagannath Puri, Mahaprabhu is laughing or seeing that I told him not to go and he is going and now he is feeling separation, so he is laughing. Saita Kalahan. Kapat Nasi, Tar Lila Bhalo Basi, Mu Madhu Mukh Katha Gulita. She is all Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all past times. And his, what he tells, oh, very, very much, very, very sweet. Krishna tells, my <coughs> bunch is so, so sweet. But when I hear the words of Radhika, Oh, I forget to play on you. More than float also. Mm. Oh, he is Kapat Sanyasi Mane. Kikar Sanyasi. And he has taken the wish only of Sanyasi. Jebhavete. Jebhav Brejate Bhave. Puna se Bhav Hebe. Bujhao, bujhe u na bujhe aar baad. Kirtan nadi, sailani, paka baka katha suni. I brought chandam tile, all from Navadri, here and there. And he, oh, he, you should give it to Jagannath for burning. Pradi, man kari nijasane. And then I did. I broke the vessel and at once I go went and locked my room for three days. And then he came and what I have told about. Parhaya Maros Sate Tarsan Tos Tar Prasanna Tamuri Jigyasila Sanatan Jaite Kanobindavan. 
তাতে মোর মোরে রাখে বোকা করি সনাতন টোল প্রভু তাতে মোর রাখে তারি বোকা বাল্য বুদ্ধি দেখি তার চিত্ত হয় চমৎকার আমি পাঁচ পদ্ম ধরি সো আই এম অলওয়েজ ডুইং i dekha most of the books has been uh, gone but some are there so i request that you to you must uh, empty that table book i don't want to see any book any picture so if you don't need you should buy it and give it to your friend and we are in drama drama oh Hare Krishna Drama. After fire sacrifice, the devotees have collected the alms for Gurudev. They can come and offer to Shila Gurudev. After fire sacrifice, whoever collected the alms for Gurudev, the donation, they can come and offer to Shila Gurudev. Please, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, start with your drama.